Welcome to Barker's Random Projects. After posting a video of how we made an automatic Halloween candy dispenser, we had a number of people asking about how it worked on Halloween. So we decided to make a video to share the results. And if you haven't seen the video on how we made it, there's a link in the description below. First off, due to a miscommunication, the instruction paper we made for the machine didn't get put outside with it. This resulted in an unintentional experiment of what kids would do without any instructions on how to use it. Luckily, most people were able to figure it out, but unfortunately, we did have a few kids leave empty-handed. Our favorite response to no instructions was one kid who actually shoved his hand inside the machine to get the candy. Which, when you step back and think, it makes a lot of sense. There is a large box with a ghost pointing to its mouth, so reach in and grab the candy. The thing I really loved about this response is that it shows how much more open-minded kids are. An adult would probably never try that first because we're conditioned to think of things a certain way. However, the younger we are, the less conditioning we have, and the more likely our solutions will be creative. Despite the awesome creativity, we are grateful his older brother stopped him before any damage was done to the machine. Later, we did notice the instruction paper was missing when we came by to check on the machine and promptly put it out. Of course, this made no difference to the little kids who couldn't read and consistently went right past the machine. However, once they'd been shown how it worked, most small children seemed completely mesmerized by the machine and did not want to leave, which makes us think maybe we should add a rule that kids under five can push the button twice. Especially since many kids did this anyways. Luckily, it wasn't a big problem since older kids left after a few pushes and younger kids had a parent to help pull them away. After viewing our footage, we're happy to report there were no jams and the machine ran perfectly all evening. An added bonus was the overall positive response from kids to the machine including older kids who said things about how awesome or cool it was. We even had a couple of kids stop to scan the QR code we put out. This made us really happy since one of our main goals is sharing our passion for science and engineering with other people, especially the next generation. Overall, we concluded the machine was a success. We got to enjoy going trick-or-treating as a family while the machine distributed a variety of wrapped candies without any jamming and an added bonus was how much the neighborhood kids enjoyed getting their candy in a way they never had before. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing.